Hello, welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of And So It Goes. And so it goes, and so it goes, and you're the only one who knows. This movie was exactly what I thought it would be, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So, I'm going to start off with the positives in the film and then work my way to the many negatives that unfortunately presented themselves. The biggest positive for me was Michael Douglas. I thought his character was really funny and he's old, he's cranky, and he's mean. And that's just up my brand of humor, probably because I'm old, cranky, and mean right here in my heart. But I thought he was really funny and he delivered a lot of laughs. So, overall, I do think the movie had laughs. It, you weren't crippled over on the floor with the side stitch because you laughed so dang hard. It's definitely not up there with one of the best comedies of the year, but it's definitely not one of the worst comedies I've seen this year either in terms of funniness. So I think overall it delivered laughs and Michael Douglas hit it out the park. Also, as any movie with the size of budget that this one has, it looks very nice. It's shot well. It's pretty clean. That's that. Now, to move right along to the not so great things about this movie. It is so predictable and so formulaic. It is a rom-com senior citizen edition. Oh, it's just so frustratingly romantic comedy that you, it was really hard for me to get past it. You predicted the moment the movie stepped, before you even stepped into the theater, you can predict exactly how it's going to end. And as you're introduced to all these new characters, again, you are able to guess right where their storylines are going to go each and every time. And that's just such a disappointment because so many of the endings in this film were not earned. The personal connections were not earned. They were not hinted at. We did not get to experience a journey. We were just introduced to this person and then told how their story ended up without any sort of connection to them. So really, we didn't care. We hardly cared about almost any of the characters. And the only ones that saw any sort of actual development were Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton's characters. And even them... I don't know that they had, either they didn't grow that much, I don't think Diane Keaton's character had very much actual growth as a character, or they were complete, they were unbelievable, they were too far stretched, and I think that was Michael Douglas's character. His beginning and ending was just too far of a stretch for it to be truly believable. And I guess you saw hints of it throughout the film, but I, I just, I didn't quite buy it. And it's mostly Michael Douglas' storylines throughout. He is the main character, and it, we revolve all around his storylines. The way that his stories end up are not warranted. They don't earn it throughout the movie. And that's just what's so frustrating. I will say, you know, Diane Keaton and Michael Douglas played off each other very well. That, that is another plus that I'm going to say. So their relationship was warranted, I thought. It, it was fun to go through on just them, and I think that's the problem with romantic comedies. The love, the little love part is okay, yes, it, it, you can buy that, but everything else is just a shambled mess, so that's the problem. And Diane Keaton, speaking of, she's always fun to watch. Of course, she's a great actress, she's lovely, but hasn't she been playing the same exact character with the same exact wardrobe for the last 15 years? Ugh. Like, I don't know. I just feel like every time I go to a Diane Keaton movie, she is playing the exact same role, down to the fact that her hair never changes, her glasses are always the exact same, and her wardrobe has stayed the same, just put into a new movie. So that's always a little bit frustrating for me with Diane Keaton, because she's such a great actress. For her to be so typecast, it, it's frustrating to watch. And finally, yes, the movie looked good, but the editing was just so awkward. The Whoever did do this, the direction and editing, just wasn't good. It was so awkwardly chopped and pasted and just, ugh. It's like, no, you, you should have music playing here. Oh, we should have ended this scene five seconds shorter. It's an, I mean, it's not big things, but we just linger 
a little bit too long on everything, and we don't have any sort of decent transition between this and this. It's like a, it's like a TV movie type thing, and not, not like HBO level TV movie, not like The Normal Heart, which has great editing and is great. It's more like a B-level Lifetime movie. Yeah. B-level for a Lifetime, not just a B-level song Lifetime movie. Let's get that distinction. But overall, the editing was just, oof. That was also, it kept taking me out and taking me out and taking me out. So, overall, my grandma liked it, and she's the person I went to go see it with. And she is in her 60s, so if you're part of that target demographic, maybe you'll like this movie a lot more than I liked it. And if you're a fan of romantic comedies and have been missing them as they've all but went extinct in recent years, you'll like And So It Goes. But I cannot really give this a good recommendation. I guess throughout the movie I, I didn't hate it. Michael Douglas kept it moving for me and made me laugh. But that ending just totally killed it for me and it, I, I was just reminded again of why Movies are so frustrating, especially love stories and movies are just so frustrating. And I guess if you're looking to kill an hour and a half, it wasn't all that long, maybe this is for you, but there are just so many better options in comedy, in action, in family film, in horror, anything. Anything. I think there are just so many better options, and this would be better wasting some time once it comes to Redbox if you think that you might want to see it. That is my review of And So It Goes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't be scared to go down and click subscribe below. I thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Love you for supporting me, and I will see you next time. Bye.